A smooth rock, freshly tilled dirt, and a vase of brightly colored flowers now marking the Mason's backyard. It's hoping that, you know, he, with his death, he could give life to the tree and, you know, kind of something to remember him by. Here lies Lucky, a 15-pound mini Doberman pincher. I definitely thought he, he would, we would have him until he grew old. Remembered fondly, but taken too soon. Like he's been such a comfort through all this stuff and then just to have him taken away. This? Yeah, so he just wandered up this way. Is where it happened. Well, my husband and daughter were just out here bouncing on the trampoline. They heard like a, what sounded like a firecracker. And he Looking around, Nicole's husband saw two men on top of the hill. It looked like they were verifying that they had shot him and they were like pointing and talking about it. And, and lucky trying to come back down it. And then ran part of the way down the hill and then just kind of curled up. And that's where my husband came and picked him up. He had like a wound on one side, exiting the other. He just had blood everywhere. Two animal hospitals and more than an hour later. As he was just kind of like slowly dying the whole trip. They said goodbye to man's best friend. We tried everything we could to save him. Now with tears in their eyes. Lucky was just, he was like kind of like my emotional support animal in a way. They have more questions than answers. I know it sounds silly when people say like, oh, my pet's part of my family or um, but he, I truly, truly love this dog. So this is Lucky's final resting place. They do hope to paint it and make it a little bit more special as a permanent tribute to him and the great dog that he was. If you have any information or if you have any doorbell video to help find who did this, contact Utah County Sheriff's Office. In Eagle Mountain, L. Thomas, Fox 13 News, Utah.